Hey guys, Bennett here, and today I'll be showing the redstone behind my redstone TV, and yeah, that's what I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like, simplified version of that TV, and yeah, let's get it started. Okay, so. Um, first I'm gonna run this thing, and then I'll talk about how it works and all that. So yeah, let's get started. So, press button. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, it so it goes on, then off, then on. So if there's a torch, it means it's on. If anyone wants to reprogram that TV, they've downloaded my map, then that's how you reprogram the what will be put out. You will basically just have to take one of those torches, place it, or take it away, and then, yeah. And you do have to do that 6,500 times or something like that. That's how many torches, redstone torches, are used in that TV. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I just had to do something. So, yeah, let's run that again. On, off, on. Yeah, the last one doesn't really count. So, um, let's show you. Let me show you what I've done. So, first you press the button. This redstone gets turned on. Then gets inverted and all this redstone gets turned off. Off, 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 off. And now this one, this torch, gets turned on. Phew know the basics about redstone that any torch that's placed on a block with a redstone input will be turned on off and then on if the redstone uh, signal is removed so yeah so this is off for a while then this one turns on which makes this line of redstone turn on get turned on and which turns these pistons on which will eventually um, be our pixels. And now because button only activates redstone for a while, as seen on this little demonstration, um, the redstone torches will eventually get turned off again before the next one will get turned on. So on, redstone signal is, yeah on, this one will be off, and oops. Now these ones will turn on again. Oopsies. As, as you can see, the, it made this one turn on and off again. Which means that the next one, which is this one, because well, there's none there, but it will continue. To, it will turn off. This one is off. There's no torch there, which means it will just turn, turn off, uh, stay off. It's gonna pass through the block, and it's gonna turn this one on. And yeah, that's how the sequencer works. At least that's what I call it. I'm not sure, might have to check on the Minecraft wiki page if there's already something like that there, but yeah. And this is a simple pixel. It, it's used in many other different things. It will always look like that. It'd be four by four, so that this my TV, the TV has actually quite a lot of pixels. Be sure it's one hundred and sixty. Might be. Okay. Well, and as you can see, I used four repeaters here, just to show. Um, two different. Yeah. Um. This is what it looks like in the, behind the screen. Is that you have, if there are two pixels next to each other, you cannot just put, you can just do this. Because what would happen is the signal would just get crossed over. Which means that you need to have two different things next to each other, like this. This will work out. It'll just. 
um, yeah, keep going without interrupting any other signal. And that is basically how, or that is how the TV works, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Oh no, actually, I got this one little thing to show you. It's... God, so... Oh, hmm. Well... This is a loop sequencer, or a sequence loop... Loop sequencer. And what I've done is combine this thing to keep on going for infinity. Which is helpful if you want something to keep on running and keep on running. For example, if you... I'm not sure how this could be used, but it would be useful in some kind of way. And so basically it's the same thing over there. It just turns the torches on or off. And as you can see, there's this one thing that always is off, or those two. You can see that they go on every... Every... Yeah, about every second. If we move this, of course, the redstone is going to stay off for longer. I'm not sure how this would be useful, but it will be somehow. And of course you could make this bigger, but for more sequences, if you have something really complex. But then, of course, you would need repeaters, which would mess up things somehow. But, of course, everything's possible. Everything's possible in Minecraft. Yeah. That's how it works. So, thanks for watching. My name is Bennett. And that like and subscribe button would be nice. Leave a comment of what I should do next. Um, me and my friend, not Jack, but my other friend are working on another thing redstone and I hope it will be even more complex than this TV because this is actually not a masterpiece but yeah so thanks for watching oh wait 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 I forgot something this is very important might have noticed in the previous video that I've used the command blocks ATP me to these boxes, and then there's another one over there, because apparently redstone that's not in a loaded chunk won't get activated, which is sad, so we had to do that. Oh yeah, just check out my map, just download it. The download link will be in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching, my name's Bennett. Hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment, and yeah, thanks for watching.